Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. La Nina is coming back and it looks like at this point it's going to be even stronger. And with that said, I do want to mention that I've been seeing a lot of headlines out there that there's going to be a crazy hurricane season, a destructive hurricane season and things like that. Now, I do believe with La Nina coming back into stronger La Nina, it is going to be more active, but I don't like to play into a fear at all. I like to do the opposite on this channel, just give you the facts as they are. I don't hold back, so I want to talk about La Nina in look ahead. But with that said, again, uh, I don't know where a storm's going to go until one develops. And then I know the steering conditions. There's a lot of other variables other than just La Nina. So it's going to be a wait and see overall. I've got you covered right here on this channel. Yes, an active season, but that doesn't mean we're going to see a storm hitting us head on. Now, let me show you what we're seeing, because again, I like to show you everything uh, that I'm seeing out there as far as projections go, long-term forecasts go. And you know, forecasting a couple days can be hard, uh, yet uh, uh, looking out in time a few months. But here's the projection for La Nina. Now, this dates back to April 2023, so about a year ago. And above this line, that means we're in an El Nino. El Ninos don't usually last. Uh, as long as La Nina. They last about 9 to 12 months. So we're losing that. But what's a little different this time is that uh, we're not going to be into a really a neutral period too long. We're going to get right into a La Nina and a strong one. That's not super typical. So this is uh, really uh, right where we are now. Again, losing El Nino. So we're going to lose that over the next month, month and a half. That is gone. I'll show you that in a second. And then cranking into a La Nina right into the heart of the hurricane season. And not just a La Nina, but a strong one. So yes, that typically means more named systems out there, which yeah, it increases the odds of getting a tropical storm or hurricane. Uh, but again, I don't know where these things are going to go yet. All right, let's, let's get to what La Nina does. Well, La Nina means less wind shear out there. That means conditions are more conducive for systems to form. Less wind shear would typically mean more hurricanes. So uh, this is kind of a breakdown on that. In El Nino, this is kind of a, maybe a little bit of, of a tough picture to see, but put it this way. In uh, El Nino, where we are now and where we were last season, uh, usually you get a, a lot of sinking air out there, so things are a little more stable. But with a La Nina, here's the Pacific, here's over the Atlantic, you get storms building up. There's less wind shear. I just mentioned the wind shear, so the storms can kind of build up. You don't have the wind shear coming across and knocking the thunderstorms apart. So El Nino, typically, that means less hurricanes. But with that said, last season we were in El Nino and there was it was an above average hurricane season. So that just goes to show you that while we're going to have a La Nina, things could be a little bit different. We'll see how it shakes out. All right, let me show you though what I'm seeing. Now, we're going to have a La Nina and I mentioned that means less wind shear and that's not a good thing. Uh, also, the longer term projections, and these are pretty solid, these are pretty good. They do show, this is August, they show increased moisture above average moisture. Of course, in August, we're in the wet season. There's going to be systems out there, but it shows above average moisture. So those two things are good. La Nina, less wind shear and increased moisture because we're starting to put the ingredients together to have a better chance of tropical storms and hurricanes. But there are other ingredients. And one of the big things that we've seen the last few years, even in La Nina seasons, is the dry air and the Saharan dust. Sometimes you get these big areas of dry air, sinking air, and a lot of dust out there. Well, that could really change a season. And that's why I mentioned, while a lot of, uh, uh, I've been seeing a lot of headlines kind of playing uh, into fear, there are other factors just like dust. So that's gonna be kind of a wait and see. Are the overall ingredients uh, good for us? No, they're not great because again, that means a uh, better chance of hurricanes, but there's other things out there. And on the flip side, uh, having more moisture Moisture around would be good. A lot of us are running uh, drought levels now, need to fill up the uh, cistern. So there's really a give and take with weather. So for this upcoming season, La Nina, less wind shear, usually means more storms, and the sea surface temperatures are looking above average. I'm going to break that down in tomorrow's video, and that usually also means more storms. So yes, it is going to be a very active hurricane season, but I can't tell where the storms are going. Sometimes there's these different patterns which may curve them out to sea a little bit sooner or we may just get lucky and they split some of our islands. So it's going to be a wait and see on that. But yeah, it's going to be a busy season and I'll watch all the ingredients in play. Now this here, here we are in the Caribbean, uh, US, get over toward uh, Canada. 
This spin here, that brought lots of gusty winds to parts of uh, New England and now the Atlantic region of Canada. We've had power outages. I mentioned yesterday that that was such a slow mover. Elsewhere, we've had a lot of dry air in place. We are going to see a little uptick in the chance of some showers as we go over the next couple of days. There's the tail end of that front. This is today, and you see a few showers possible, maybe one or two Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Puerto Rico, we could get a pop-up shower, uh, Dominica, Guadalupe, Martin, Martinique over towards St. Lucia, Barbados, few showers around, and in Suriname. Now, Costa Rica and Panama, the rain chance will be getting a little higher. There's a little more moisture building in here, which would be a good thing over toward parts of uh, Colombia. And then tomorrow, generally the same thing. A lot of us staying dry with a few of us getting some showers as we work our way into our Wednesday. As we go from Wednesday into Thursday, rain chance increases a little bit. You see over toward Puerto Rico, for example, uh, Guadalupe, Antigua, and Barbuda, we may catch a slightly better chance of a shower as we get toward the end of the week. Now, the big picture, this system here with the tail end of the front there, still moving into parts of uh, Canada, that's trying to slowly wind down. And then another system here moving into parts of uh, Western Canada and the Pacific Northwest, that is gonna bring some snow and a a lot of it toward parts of Wyoming and uh, Colorado. So you can see that system there. This is by tomorrow afternoon. And then going out in time, we're going to see these fronts moving across the U.S., but staying generally to the north. But we'll have that easterly flow and even some gusty winds at times. Some gale warnings will be possible. Western Caribbean, I'll highlight that as well in tomorrow's video. So the seas will kick up late week in the uh, Caribbean. But you see here as we work our way into Thursday, we have that next front kind of taking place in the U.S working its way across as we get toward the end of the week. Here's that slow moving system uh, still near uh, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, uh, Newfoundland, trying to kind of spin on the back side, working in that white shading there, working in some snow or a cold rain for some of us. But the winds have been the story on this, some gusty winds. We have those down trees in parts of uh, New England yesterday over toward parts of Connecticut, Massachusetts, up toward Maine. There's been flooding over toward parts of uh, New Hampshire. This uh, as we go out in time, uh, taking you into your Wednesday, you see how, yeah, the system starts to move away, but it's kind of spinning still very close to the coastline. So still that wind maker as we work our way into our Wednesday. And then as we work our way into the end of the week, it's still kind of spinning not too far away. And then we'll keep an eye on that next system that will be getting closer. So Jamaica for us today, rain chance stays limited, a 20% chance, 20% chance of a shower in the Cayman Islands, about a 30% chance today in Trinidad and Tobago. Again, I raised it slightly. Slightly. doesn't mean we're going to get some rain, but a slight chance of an isolated shower in Trinidad today. Uh, Barbados, we're looking at about a 30% chance tomorrow, 30% chance the next couple of days. A few of those spotty showers in St. Lucia. Grenada, we may get one or two, otherwise mainly dry. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, same thing. Rain chance does bump up a little bit tomorrow and Thursday in Martinique. And you see that, that's what I was talking about earlier. Dominica by Thursday, about a 40% chance and a 40% chance on Thursday in Guadeloupe. So it trends up slightly, even in Antigua and Barbuda. Not a high chance, but at least it's there. 30% chance St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat by Thursday. In Guilla and uh, St. Bart's could see one or two showers around. 10 to 20% chance St. Martin, Saba and Stacia. And you see in Puerto Rico by Thursday, especially in the afternoon with a little of that daytime heating, better chance of a shower or even a thunderstorm, and we'll be watching out for a spotty shower possible. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Dominican Republic, rain chance stays low, mainly on the dry side as we work our way into Haiti. Rain chance 10% in the Bahamas, that's mainly southern Bahamas. In the Turks and Caicos, we may catch a shower too. Little instability with that uh, front that uh, moved by. Cuba, rain chance about 10 to 20%, and a 10 to 20% chance in Belize. Very limited chance of rain over toward Cozumel, Cancun as we get into the Yucatan, uh, Mexico, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire. Rain chance stays uh, on the small side. It will be breezy to windy at times. And you see that rain chance very low in Bermuda the next couple days, trying to pick up some late in the week as we watch the next fronts. But Costa Rica and Panama, rain chance about 40, maybe 50% by the time we get into Friday. Guyana starts to trend up some. And in Suriname today, a mainly dry northern zone. Southern zones, we may see a few of those showers. And rain chance about 20 to 30% in northern Venezuela. So low chance of rain today, slightly higher for some of us later this week. I do expect that after uh, active uh, hurricane season, but I'll be tracking it storm by storm with you because 
other ingredients in play, different steering currents in play as we get into the season. So we'll watch it, putting it on the back burner. Hurricane season starts June 1st. So thank you for subscribing and liking the videos, taking the time to do that. I hope you have a good rest of your day.